In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut straight with a handsaw. Hi everyone, welcome back to David's DIY Reviews. On this channel we do a lot of woodworking builds and little kind of tips, tricks, tutorials like this video here. So let's get into it, how to cut straight with a handsaw. So the first thing I'm going to say is definitely draw a line on your material. I mean, don't think you're just going to grab a saw and it's going to be fine. You're just going to cut it and oh, it'll work out. Most likely it won't unless you're really experienced with woodworking. Try to draw the line on at least two sides of your material if you can. If you, if you can, go all the way around just using a T-square, a combination square, even a ruler to set it up. Draw your line all the way around and at the very least, that's going to be a guide to cut straight. So the first thing you're going to want to do is kind of get your saw cut started. Get your kerf started. Now, it's kind of controversial how you do that. Some people like to push lightly forward. Personally, I like to pull back to get a saw started. I mean, if your saw is in really good shape, you should be able to push forward. Not all of my equipment is in perfect shape, so that's not the case. So you get that top cut started. And at this point, it's really important to remember that your first, you know, 5, 10, 15 saw strokes, that's going to set the course for your cut through the whole piece. At this point, uh, one technique a lot of people use is they'll get that top cut made, they'll reclamp their piece of material this way, and as you cut down through, that kerf you created will guide the saw uh, that's a way that I tend to use with like a thicker piece of wood. But if you're cutting a 2x4 or something like that, you can probably just keep it clamped in and start cutting through. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to do that. It's always important to remember too, the closer you cut to your clamping system, the less it's going to move and the better it's going to be. So we'll go ahead and we'll continue this cut. So what you want to do is you definitely want to keep an eye on your line as you go down. So we'll start cutting, and remember always cut with the forward push of the saw, that's the way the teeth are going to work for most push saws. And if you find, oh I'm, you know, I'm making my cut, it's starting to go off the line. All you need to do is kind of move your saw one way or the other, the, the handle of your saw, kind of push it to one side, push it to the other side, and that's going to, that's going to cause the the saw blade to start to turn one way or the other and you can get back online. And as you're making your cut, always try to keep your arm in line with your shoulder. Nice straight strokes. That's going to help make a straight cut as well. Keep an eye on the line and let the saw do the work. A lot of what is going to cause you to cut crooked is if you're trying to force the saw through the wood, just let the saw do the work. Another thing I see sometimes also is, you know, people are cutting something, they get all the way to the end of the cut, and then they kind of, oh, I'm almost there, I'll just give her and forget to pay attention, and all of a sudden your line goes crooked. Make sure you're paying attention all the way to the end, following your line, and it'll be nice and straight. And I know sometimes even for beginners, you know, that method, it's easier said than done. Another good trick you can do is actually clamp a piece of wood right next to the line you're going to cut. And then you can actually just follow right along that. And that pretty much almost guarantees your cut is going to be perfect. And when in doubt, guys, if you happen to have a miter box, that is really a 100% guarantee that your saw is going to be straight. It allows your saw to be perfect every time. I've actually got a video in the YouTube card above which will explain to you really all the uses of a miter box, you know, what they're good for, what they're not good for. But at the end of the day, I use them all the time. I do a lot of woodworking at home with hand tools and a miter box is something I'm using every single day. It's really the best bet. And one last little bonus tip, if you find you're making a cut and you know, you're not very far through it, you don't want to do it again, you want to make sure this cut works, you're going offline, you can bring the saw up 
and actually hold the saw at both ends, bring it back up where you went offline, and you can kind of start to just carve away at the side and kind of get it back online to where you need to be. And then um, continue your cut like that. And if you happen to be looking for a good handsaw, check down in the description below. I've got uh, some links to some really good equipment, everything I use in this video. Also in the description below, David's DIY review merchandise, shirts, hats, masks, all that kind of great stuff. And you know guys, unfortunately like most things, practice makes perfect. The more you cut, the more you try to cut straight, the more you follow uh, good practices and procedures, the better you're going to get good at it. Um, you know, if you're always just not trying, if you're just kind of like, whatever, I'll just wing it and cut it, you're never really going to get good. You definitely want to get in a habit of cutting the same way every time, a time that's going to improve your skills. So, you know, that's it for this one. David's DIY Reviews. See you in the next video.